It's Landry Peroff, Boxing Social in association with Betfred, and I'm delighted to be joined by the many Dennis McCann. Dennis, another victory for yourself tonight. How would you assess your performance? It was all right. It was a uh, five out of ten for me, but uh, obviously I got him out there. Thank God. You know what I mean, so it was, it was decent, but I'll give it the fans what they want to see: knockouts. Isn't it? So, what was you unhappy about with your performance? Um, it's not as good as usual. I got him out there in the second, not the first this time. You know what I mean? Obviously, at this stage of your career, very early on, you're only a few fights into it. How, have you, how are you finding the adaptation from amateur to professional style? Listen, it's a diff different game, it's different gravy. Amateur and pro was two different games. But um, I adapted, and um, I was always strong in the amateurs, so that's probably why I adapted so good. And, and you wore smaller gloves, so you can knock them out a bit easier, you know what I mean? Obviously, as well, like I mentioned, this early stage of your career, you take them whenever fighters start out, whether you've turned over as an amateur or you go straight into the, these paid ranks as professionals, you kind of you find yourself in with a journeyman or with other guys who have similar records to yourself, you know, four and five and etc. How are you finding it fighting against guys like these instead of maybe people who you feel you'd be better off fighting who have better records? Well, I've tried. I've tried. Uh, I tried Ricky Little, who's a Southern Area champion. He turned down the fight. Uh, Martin Hillman, who uh, I don't know, if, I think he turned on the fight or he wasn't available, I don't know. Um, a few fighters have tried for this fight and none of them really wanted it to be honest, so didn't fancy, I wouldn't blame him, but um, I'm fighting at the ball on the card in three and a half weeks, so uh, I've got I've got a bit of announcement, a bit a lot better opponent as well. And um, even that kill of four today was, was five pound, five and a half pound heavier than me yesterday at the weigh-in. So I'm giving away weight as well, you know what I mean? Because I, I had about five, six pullouts, but got the job done, didn't I? That's the main thing, got the W. Any clues as to who or any little inklings as to who you'll be facing on the, on the Dubois show? No, I have, I have no clues yet. <laughs> wait and see, we'll wait and see. He's got a good record and he's very experienced, so it'll, uh, it'll bring the best out of me. Any doors, obviously, early doors, I should say, as of yet, but say if 21st was to go to as planned and you were successful, what does 2020 have lined up for yourself? Titles. Or well, a title shot. Probably March or around that time, I'll be fighting for a title. Obviously, as we are in Birmingham, there was other fights on tonight. How much of a card did you manage to catch? Yeah, I catched most of it. I missed the Tete and Casemiro. I was a bit pissed off with them. <laughs> they're my weight, you know what I mean? I walked out. I turned them back. I walked out into the changing room. I come back and it was over, you know what I mean? I was a bit pissed off about that, but they, I wanted to have a close eye as, as they are world level. Obviously, I know I'm far from there yet, but I'll get there. Who did you manage to watch? I was watching Dennis Clark, Laurent Richards. Um, I watched. Your thoughts on Lerone and Lennox? I thought uh, it was not the best of performance from from Lerone Richards, and you got a lot more to show. Lerone has because I've seen him in the gym sparring great fighters like of Joshua Biazzi and stuff. And um, but he got the job done. He won. He won at least seven, probably eight of the twelve rounds, easy. Maybe nine of the twelve rounds. And finally, before I do let you shoot off, because I know it's very late, just get your thoughts on a couple of fights. Last weekend, Deontay Wilder stopped Luis Ortiz with a seventh round stoppage victory. Lines up that rematch with Tyson Fury next year. But what was your first of your thoughts on Deontay's victory? It's a great victory. He's just got power. The power he's got, is just, I've never seen it before. I think he's, the big, he's the strongest heavyweight on the planet, I reckon. Like, ever was, probably. But Fury is going to whoop him, trust me. Fury is going to whoop him. And finally, next weekend, another big heavyweight rematch. Ruiz Joshua 2 out in Saudi Arabia. How do you see that one playing out, Dennis? <sighs> I'm hoping Joshua. I reckon Joshua. I'm, I'm backing Joshua. How do you see it playing out tactically this time round? Joshua wants to be a bit more elusive and, and um, wants to be a bit more elusive, not, not so upright, you know what I mean? So he's got, a, he's got to keep that head moving at all times. That, that, that Ruiz, he's no, he's no mug. He, he, his hand speed is phenomenal, you know what I mean? So... But it's, it's heavyweight boxing, one shot can change the whole lot, isn't it? Well, final word to yourself before I do let you shoot off, Dennis. What would you like to say to everybody who would have tuned in tonight? I hope you enjoyed it. Knockout num number uh, number five is coming in 21st. Be there. Dennis McCann, thanks for being to myself and Boxing Social. Nice to meet you, mate. <laughs>